Hi and welcome to this tutorial which will show you how to create more interesting effects with your text by using filters and various special effects. So I've got the masthead of my magazine here and I think it looks okay but I wouldn't mind making it look a little bit more rock and roll so what I'm going to do is try and create kind of like a, a flaming fire burning effect. Um, what I'm going to do is get rid of this part so we've only got the masthead and before we go any further you may obviously not want that kind of effect on your on your text but this is just something that shows you the kind of things that you can do so you could use this video as a basis for you to experiment with a different kind of effects and see what you can do that's appropriate to your particular style so what I'm going to do first of all I, I I've got a piece of text here and what I essentially need to do is convert this text into a graphic so that I can apply the kind of more complicated effects to it. So once I've turned it into a graphic, I can't edit it anymore as a piece of text. I'm going to go modify, flatten, and that's now a graphic rather than a text frame. So the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down, down to the bottom here and I've got the properties bar here. You can see it thinks this is a bit map, and I go down to the bottom and I've got a thing here that says filters and I can add a live filter so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the filters and I've got all sorts of things that I can do I can add things like noise I can blur the image emboss add out to uh, sharpen it blur it add shadows to it what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the shadow and glow and add a glow to the outside and straight away you can see the effect that's had um, and I can adjust the effect I'm going to actually make it slightly less there and you can adjust the transparency on it as well you can just experiment with that and see how you how you get on and I could change the color so I might go for uh, no I actually think I preferred it the way I'm going to go and put it back again put it to a red color so I've applied a graphic effect it looks slightly more interesting but what I can do is I can continue to add filters so I'm going to add another one and I'm going to go to glow again and add a second glow layer and that's added even more this time Again, I'm going to make it slightly less pronounced, and then I'm going to click here and turn it into a more orange color. So the second one, the second filter is on top of that one, and I'm going to add one more to it now. So now I'm not brilliant at this kind of thing, but what I'm trying to do really is just give you an idea of the kind of things that you can do and I'm going to change that one and I want a yellow effect for my final layer so that looks to be honest I would need to, to do something with that blur to because it looks a bit blurry so I could experiment with that a little bit more and try and make that look a little better now I actually want it to look it looks kind of like it's glowing we want a kind of fire effect so over here now this is a bitmap and not a piece of text I can apply graphic uh, I can use it these graphic tools with it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my blur and smudge tools so I've gone to the triangle in the corner I've gone to the smudge tool down there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply little fingers of flame I'll try to to my thing so I'm going to go to the red color and you can see as I drag down that it's starting to look a little bit more like the letters burning and on fire only slightly I think if I was doing this again I would perhaps put a yellow layer around first but what really what I'm trying to get you to do here is experiment rather than copy exactly what I'm doing so I could do this for a while um, I'm not going to I'm going to stop in just a second and then what I can do you notice that I can change the shape of this and I can change things like the pressure value and the size. let's see the effect that has I mean it's all about as I've said experimentation and that looks slightly different as you can see there and it, it's, it's an interesting effect at least so what you might want to do is try experimenting with a few more of these filters now it's unlikely perhaps that you're going to want to have burning text but what it does show you is that you can be more imaginative with your use of text and you can actually try and use your text to emphasize 
the, the feel or the or the meaning or the message behind your magazine. So by trying to make it look like it's on fire, what I'm at least trying to do is think about audience and purpose. So let's recap what I've done is I've turned my piece of text into an, an editable image by flattening it. So that's turned it into um, an image. And then once it's an image, I've been able to apply the live let's select tool again. I've been able to apply live filters to it which change the way that it looks and then I've also combined that with the smudge tool so why don't you try seeing what some of these filters can do and the kind of effects that you can create with your text